Welcome Rangers! In this edition of the Ranger Database, I'll be giving you a few interesting trivia about the upcoming Power Rangers film that you may or may not have known. Let's start! In earlier drafts of the movie, writer Max Landis had plans to switch up the colors of the Rangers. Zack was supposed to be the Pink Ranger, which in turn made Kimberly the Black Ranger. However, this idea was quickly dropped and they decided to stick to the original color designation. Oh, I'm black! What? I am! More on Mr. Landis, he was fired from his writing gig for the film. After the release of the first trailer, he went on Twitter to criticize the movie by stating that it's similar to a film that he co-wrote, Chronicle. It has been confirmed that this movie will contain several Easter eggs, an example of which can be seen in this picture of the set. The street signs read Reef Side and Ocean Bluff Road, which are the names of the places where Dino Thunder and Jungle Fury respectively take place in. Speaking of the set, this movie was filmed in Canada. One of the locations, Steveston, British Columbia, is where the TV series Once Upon a Time is also shot in. Becky G, who will be playing Trini, the Yellow Ranger, revealed in an interview that she wasn't aware that she was auditioning to be in a Power Rangers movie. She only learned about it after a callback. I'm pretty sure I'm a superhero. Also, Ludi Lin, the actor portraying Zack, shot his audition tape using a phone and auditioned via Skype all while in Singapore. It's just a hologram, like a video game. <laughs> A handful of actors were considered for the roles of the Rangers. Some of them are, for Zack, there's Ross Butler, Brian Seenmark, and Daniel Zavato. For Kimberly, we have Anna Sophia Robb and Stephanie Scott. As for the Red Ranger, Enrique Alejandro, KJ Appa, Austin Butler, and Mitchell Hope. Robbie Amell, who played Firestorm in CW's The Flash, stated that he also wanted to play the role of Jason. But ultimately, the role was won by Dacre Montgomery. And yes, that's how you pronounce his name, Aker with a D in front. This film marks the first time that the characters of Zack and Trini are portrayed in the big screen. In Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie, it was Adam and Aisha who served as the Black and Yellow Rangers. Even though Jason wasn't included in the first film too, he still got a taste of the big screen in Turbo, a Power Rangers movie, but as a civilian rather than the Red Ranger. Would you guys be quiet? Collectors of Power Rangers memorabilia might have a hard time getting their hands on all five of the teaser posters of the new Power Rangers movie. Why? For some reason, Lionsgate and Saban decided to only ship two out of the five Zords posters to be displayed in theaters as opposed to the complete set. I guess this added challenge will bring in more value to these posters. Roberto Orsi, who's known for working on superhero films such as Transformers, Watchmen, and The Amazing Spider-Man 2, was supposed to produce the upcoming Power Rangers movie. However, because of his commitments to another sci-fi film, Star Trek Beyond, he had to drop out. The movie's release has been pushed back a couple of times. The initial release date was on July 22, 2016. It was then moved to January 2017, but was again delayed for the purpose of it to have room to grow. Luckily now, Saban's Power Rangers will be coming to theaters this March. And there you have it, behind the scenes trivia of the new Power Rangers film. Do you know of other facts about the upcoming Power Rangers movie? Let us know in the comments section. Remember to give this video a like and share it. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Jerby Ranger. For more videos like this, please subscribe if you haven't already. This has been Jerby from More Phenomenal. Thanks, and as always, may the power protect you.